Hey, it's V with 85th and Wade. Thanks for joining me today. Now in this episode, we have a Seamwork Sundress Showdown. Say that two times in a row. Um, so we will be comparing two different Seamwork patterns. They're very, very similar. There are some subtle differences, but just to get a, you know, compare and contrast in terms of two different sundresses um, and what my thoughts and feelings are on them. So what two dresses am I referring to? They are the Seamwork Aronica dress and the Seamwork Lyle dress. Now from the pictures, you can see they pretty much look about the same. Some differences maybe at the hem. One has a boat neck. One is a little more muscle versus tank. But the body, you know, the bulk of it is pretty much the same. And so I wanted to compare the two to see which one I would prefer and then maybe, you know, strongly consider making more of in the future. So let's get started. Now, this first one is the Seamwork Lyle, okay? Um, so this comes in sizes 26 to zero. So that is a bust measurement of 54 to 33 hip of 58 to 35 and then the waist is a 47 to 30 to 25. Um, those are the body measurements. Now I'm doing body measurements as opposed to finished garment because this is a knit. So you're going to have negative ease there and didn't want to fool around with those numbers more so the body because with the body and it being knit, you can be larger, you can be smaller and still be able to, um, perhaps utilize this pattern. Now, as far as the fabric is concerned, I have my little cheat sheet here. So this fabric I bought from Joann's, it is a Simple Life Sage Soft Rayon Rib Knit, okay? It's 80% um, rayon, 16% polyester, 4% spandex. So it has that recovery with the spandex. It is 63 inches wide. And um, I bought it at $8.92 a yard and I bought two yards of it. And I did write on here, but I want to say maybe the um, original price per yard was either $17.99 or $21.99. And it was on sale. I may have had a coupon, but it came down to $8.92 a yard. So we'll just say $20 for the two yards. Um, and I have a, a dress here. Now... This is a rib knit, <laughs> right? So um, this is not a 94 degree day in the summer sundress. This is a late summer evening extended all the way through fall, if you can, depending on your climate. And the reason I did that was because I wanted to extend it. I didn't necessarily want a dress that I could only wear during the summertime because I figured with some tights, with a turtleneck underneath, perhaps with a jean jacket or some type of jacket over it, I can extend this dress beyond the summer months. So this is why I chose this rib knit. Now, as far as the amount of fabric that you'll need, um, it's anywhere from three and a quarters yard to one and five eighths yard. And that is dependent upon if you use a 45 or 60 inch wide fabric. Again, mine was 63 inches, so I was able to get away with the two yards of it. Um, and I had a little bit left over, but not enough to really do anything with. As far as the type of fabric, 50% stretch. Now you can go above or lower than that. You'll just have to keep a couple things in mind. Um, with 50% stretch, this is what it's designed for. If you go lower than that, so say 35, 25% stretch, you may need to size up because it won't stretch as much. Um, and so you'll have a very tight fit, but that could be possibly the look that you're going for. Or if you go higher than a 50% stretch, so say a 60, 75% stretch, you may want to size down one, possibly two sizes because it'll be so stretchy that it'll be very loose on you or look very loose. Um, and so at the, at the normal size you would cut. So you may want to go down a size that way. So this was a 50% stretch fabric. Um, as far as interfacing, you don't need any interfa interfacing. There are no notions. Um, there's only four pattern pieces. So you have your front and your back cut on the fold. You have your armband that you cut twice and then your neckband. So just those four pieces and you cut the neckband on the fold. 
You have 26 unique steps to complete this and the instructions were great. I did them the instructions in order. I did not do any modifications and I give this a four out of five. And the reason it's a four out of five is because it was way too big. So I think I went down one, maybe two sizes. The reason for that is because Seamwork drafts for a, I think a C cup, maybe even a D cup. Um, but it's larger than I would be, which is a B cup. Um, so I knew that this was going to be a little bit big, but I didn't think it was going to be that big in the, in the bust area. Also, I guess in the waist area, it could have been a little slimmer as well. And then in the hips, it was too big as well. So I did go down, I think one, maybe two sizes on this, um, dress, which when you, well, at least when I do that, it doesn't really drape like it should. Um, and so I have to figure that out with seam work. I haven't been about the small bus adjustment life yet. I'm not, <laughs> not really into that, wanting to do that really, but I may have to as I continue to do seam work tops. Um, so that they can fit better and the arm side isn't, you know, hanging so low or so wide off of me. So that's something I'll have to consider. But for the most part, you know, a very straightforward make. Now, the reason I gave it a four because of that. I had to go down a couple sizes. Also, I realized I don't like this style. So um, this here, him, <laughs> as you can see, I still have a string dangling there <laughs> as far as uh my um my seams because i searched pretty much everything on here um i don't like that i don't like that him <laughs> that's not my style so i probably would not make this again as it is originally intended with that i would just go straight across the bottom and because this dress is so long I could more than likely just go ahead and do that. So get to my two um, end points here where the, you know, the side is and just start here, straight line it across all the way to the other side to make that um, level and then stick a hem in there and be done with it. So, you know, other than, other than my personal preference of what I like in terms of style, um, this is a really straightforward dress. Very easy to put together, beginner friendly. You can do this literally in one afternoon because you don't have, or one day. You don't have a lot of pieces, you know, to, to sew together. It's a very quick one. Just think of it as a long tank top and you're done, <laughs> right? So this is um, the Seamwork Aronica. No, Seamwork Lyle. <clears throat> okay. Now, as far as the next one, it's the Seamwork Aronica. And for this one, I did use a lighter version of a fabric. So this is just a basic jersey, um, t-shirt weight jersey. And again, very similar. As you can see, you know, sleeveless, rounded neck. Um, with this one, you do have just that straight edge hem, which I prefer. <laughs> so again, think of this as another long tank top basically. So for the Aronica, it is a, it comes in a 30 to a zero zero. And the measurements are um, for the bus, a 60 to a 32 inches. The waist is a 33, I think to a 24 inches. That might be 53 to a four. Yeah, I think 53 to a 24 inch. And then um, the hips is 64 to a 34 inch. Again, body measurements it has negative ease. So, you know, if you're a little larger than that or smaller than now, those body ranges, you can still probably um, do this without very much modification as in grading up or down. Again, same fabric as before. So 50% stretch. And um, the amount of fabric that you'll need using either a 45 or a 60 is anywhere from three yards to seven eighths yard. And I'll talk about that more in a minute. It does not require interfacing. You don't need any notions. 
um with both of these you could this one for sure the other one um you could use a twin needle to finish out some of your um hems if you like that look or it can just be a regular uh zigzag hit uh stitch or straight stitch whichever you prefer it has four pieces as well um this one has a little is a little different in that it's the front is on the fold but the back has a seam down the middle um, and then you have your two arm bands and your neck band. So same number of pattern pieces. It's just one you can um, do both on the fold. The other you do just the front on the fold. Now you can 100% do the back on the fold here <laughs> and be just totally okay. You will have to keep in mind that if you do that, because it gives the seam, um, because it has that 3 8 inch seam allowance here in the middle, you will have to remove that from both pattern pieces as you're cutting it out. So just think that your pattern piece, if you're if it's on the fold, you just want to extend the pattern piece beyond the fabric three eighths inch, um, and then go ahead and cut around, and it'll it'll work out perfectly that way. So just bear that in mind that you do have to take out the seam allowance if you are doing the back on the fold. Um, as far as steps, you would have 23 unique steps. The instructions, again, were great. Simwork gives you um, not pictures, but illustrations or sketches of um, each step. I did do everything in order again. Um, I didn't modify anything. And again, I give this a four out of five only because I had to go down one, possibly two sizes to get this to fit um, anything close to decent on me. And um, I will say, I do like it. I've worn it a few times more so than I have the rib knit. Again, it's been very warm. There's no reason to be in rib knit <laughs> in 90 degree weather. So this one has gotten worn um, a few times over the summer, even with a, a jacket or something over it on those cooler mornings or if I'm going into an air conditioned building or something like that. Um, but a very easy make. I really do like it. Of the two, I would say that I would probably wear or make more of these once I can figure out the bust area for it, just because I like the hem and I wouldn't have to do any of that modification on this as opposed to the Ironica. Now, uh, I mean, uh, the Lyle. Now, I do like the Lyle in terms of it being more of a boat neck. So it sits up just a little higher. This gives traditional tank crew neck um so those two you can kind of play around with in terms of whichever preference you like so that's great if you like boat neck stick with lyle if you like traditional crew neck stick with the ironica now i had mentioned that um you can do this in seven eighths of a yard now clearly you cannot do the dress it has a bonus um well actually it has two very other variations so with this um ironica it actually comes as a top so you really can just cut it off here you know it tells you where to cut it off at um and just make this a top and you'll be you know fine with just a regular tank top so you'll have a tank top as well as a tank dress the bonus is that it also has a piece where you can add a crisscross to the waistline so if that look is something that you like many people say it helps hide your waistline or your tummy or whatever it does for them so if that's something that you're interested in um, you can certainly add that to both the top as well as the dress um, so it gives another variation or another look for this simple sundress so all in all i would say that um i do like both of them in terms of construction instructions were great very easy to put together. My preference obviously would be this Ironica just in its basic form. Um, if you haven't checked out Seamwork, you know, try one of their free patterns, see if you like them. They often have, you know, 50% off of their membership, um, a code for that. So um, if I'll link to the website and then um, you can see if that's something that you're interested in, in terms of looking through some of their um, pattern pictures. But all in all, I do like my Seamwork Sundress Showdown. I'll be making more of these for sure, and especially more tanks. Again, once I can figure out the bust adjustment that I need to do. Now, if you're wondering, I am wearing the 
um which one is this this is the runabout rumper by patterns for pirates that i talked about in a previous video so i'll make sure to link that video there so let me know um, what you think about the sundresses have you made either one of those have you made something similar in another um, from another pattern designer are you into sundresses um, or not so i look forward to hearing your comments thanks so much for walking on this sewing journey with me and i'll talk to you next time bye Thank you.